it's like they just can't keep up. What's the answer? I don't know. Well, people caught in the June 10th flood one week ago today are responding to a new report released by the Sewerage and Water Board. They say the city must do more. WDSU's Jennifer Crockett is live at the Sewerage and Water Board office with the new information. Jennifer. The after action report released by the Sewage and Water Board today confirms what we told you one week ago, that a power failure made flooding in New Orleans back on June 10th worse. Now we're learning that it was a safety feature that failed, leaving city streets swamped for hours. On the morning of June 10th, Joelle Finley woke up to water in Lakeview. And as it continued to rain, of course, the water got higher and higher and higher, and it wound up at the base of our front steps. But when the skies cleared, Joelle Street did not. We saw the same thing in Gentilly, downtown, mid-city. Streets swamped for hours. So it's the entire city of New Orleans that's broken. And where are you going to get the billions of dollars to, to pay to have it all replaced? That's a question the Sewage and Water Board cannot answer today. An after action report just released focuses on what went wrong in Wednesday's storm, causing power to 15 pumps to fail when turbine four stalled. And the main solid conclusion that we came up with is the fact that this was a mechanical error. Engineers point to a safety feature called a governor that's meant to slow the turbine down before it's set to trip and shut off. The executive director saying changes are happening now to reset that regulator and give operators more time to intervene if turbine four nears its trip point in the next summer storm. We can never say it would never happen again, but he's confident that the measures he's taken uh, will, will minimize that too and minimize the risk. The Sewage and Water Board says that because Turbine 4 tripped before it was overloaded, that actually saved that multi-million dollar piece of equipment. They said that even if Turbine 4 would have worked, the streets of New Orleans would still have flooded, but they said they would have drained a lot faster. Reporting live, I'm Jennifer Crockett, WDSU News.